So we're talking about the Disney animated film Luca. And of course I had to do this review on a lake, a beautiful body of water. So here I am on Lake Annette in Jasper, Alberta, Canada. And it's just gorgeous out here today. And you can see the beautiful view and the beautiful water out here. I thought it was no better time to talk about Luca than right now. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Teach Film Preach. And if you're a lover of films like I am, and if you learn from films as much as I do, then you are in the right place. And if you're in the right place, feel like clicking like down below and subscribe to my channel for more content. That would be amazing. Today we are talking about the Disney Pixar animated film, Luca. Luca is a coming of age film set in the Italian Riviera in the Mediterranean and it takes place over the course of a summer where Luca is a sea monster, a sea creature, and he gets to experience the world for the first time out on the land with his best friend and they go to explore what it's like to be a human. And that's all that this movie really is. There is nothing too crazy about this film. There's nothing that really stands out in the risks that Pixar usually takes. And it's actually quite a safe movie in the sense that it's a very small scale. It doesn't really do too much to add to the Pixar sort of catalog besides it being a coming of age story. And that's the thing, if you enjoy coming of age movies, you'll love this film. And I think they do it very cleverly here in this film. It isn't, a masterpiece or anything. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! I tell you, genius, I say! but it is a really interesting, fun film. It is definitely meant for kids. I wouldn't say it is the strongest adult film for Pixar, but that's okay. This is really meant for uh, children and it feels a little bit, just a little bit like the male version of The Little Mermaid. Merman. Merman. In fact, it should just be called The Little Luca. That might be ripping off The Little Mermaid just a smidge. <gasps> he knows. You can tell that the director grew up in this area. You can feel like it's a very personalized film. One of the things that I loved about this movie is it is gorgeous. Just like how it is outside today in this beautiful weather on this beautiful lake. It is a gorgeous film to look at. And even so, the animation, even though it's cartoonish, it is a little bit more cartoony than, let's say, the movie Soul. But it's still the details and the fine details they have in the animation is stunning and unbelievable. It is really cool to see how they're able to make it kid-like, but also really detailed and gorgeous at the same time. That's the first thing I loved about this movie. The second thing is I actually thought this movie was quite funny. There was a lot of great humor in it. There's the best friend and the, the uh, relationship between him and Luca is really sweet. It's a brotherly love. It's Everything good is above the surface. Walking, air, <gasps> the sky, clouds, the sun. Whoa, don't look at it. Just kidding, definitely look at it. <laughs> really strong best friend love and that is really what this movie is about it's about friendship and the bonds that we make um, when we connect with other people even if we don't know that person at first this is like the disney version of call me by your name timothy chalamet and army hammer but obviously i can't compare disney to that film because they're wildly different but it is there's dogs barking but they're but there is a really cool sense of camaraderie between the friends and also the female friend that they make in the town. And then it becomes this sort of race movie and, um, and it changes. And I think that's where this movie does fall apart a little bit is in the second half of the film. It becomes about this movie about this race and it kind of loses its steam a bit. It doesn't really have the natural groove to go into more of a race movie and a movie that is focused on the town. I wasn't really into it. I wanted much more of a personalized story with Luca, his friends, and his summer. And instead they were like, we need to put in a villain here. And so they put in this like creepy, really weird, horrible, awful kid who's like 16 years old and hang out with a bunch of like 10, 11 year olds. 
go figure. I just think the thing is, is that he just isn't really a compelling bad guy, except the fact that he's a bad guy and he's here to beat up our heroes. And that's really it. He isn't very complicated and not that all interesting in the end. And I think that's where this film kind of falls short. There was a little bit of stuff that they could have done with the writing I found, especially in the second half of the film. And the movie is a bit telegraphed from the beginning. You kind of know what's going to happen. You see the beats coming a mile away. You know the story beats if you understand script writing and you know how a three act structure or a five act structure works. You can see like, okay, now this is going to happen in the movie and then this is going to happen. We're going to have consequences here. There's going to be this reveal here and it was fine. It wasn't like it took away from the film overall in the end, but it also didn't really add too much in it as well. And I think I was just a little bit disappointed in its storytelling. And they definitely went for style and the way the film looks over story substance. And that's where the film just fell down a little bit for me. Now, like I said, I still had a really great time with this movie. I had a really great adventure. It was awesome to spend the summer in the Italian Riviera. And so overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give the film Luca a beep. So what did you guys think of the Disney animated film, Luca? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And was this one of your favorite Pixar Disney films that they've made? Or was this just a sort of subpar okay version and you wanted something a little bit more? Let me know with your thoughts down below. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching today, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Come back and check out some more Mr. Teach Film Preach. I got lots of other videos. Also my playlist for the movies that I've reviewed in 2021. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe safe, stay healthy out there. Enjoy the beautiful summer weather that we're having. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's get taught.